India is a vast South Asian country with diverse terrain. From Himalayan peaks to Indian Ocean coastline and history reaching back five millennia, it has a land frontier of 15,200 kilometers and a coastline of 7,517 kilometers. India has plenty of mineral resources which include coal, iron ore, manganese ore, mica, bauxite, chromites, natural gas, diamonds, limestone and thorium. India is also famous for the great Indian spices, which include a variety of spices grown across the Indian subcontinent. In 1497, the Portuguese navigator Vasco da Gama rounded the Cape of Good Hope and became the first European to sail to India. This discovery ignited the Indian commercial trade in 15th century itself. As time advanced, the trading increased between nations. The number of vessels and voyage also increased and since there were no effective aids to navigation, this led to many unexpected mishaps. This caused evolution of aids to marine navigation. The Directorate General of Lighthouses and Lightships provides general aids to marine navigation along the Indian coast, which includes lighthouses, lightships, buoys, recon, DGPS, NAIS, etc. In India, 85 to 90 percent of imports and exports is carried by ships as being the cheapest mode of transportation, and it is mostly performed in western coast. Presently, more than 600 ships of various sizes, including VLCCs, LPGs, large cape size bulk carriers, etc., arrive in Gulf of Kutch every month. And this number is constantly increasing. The main ports in Gulf of Kutch are Kandla, Mundra, Sikka, Rosi, Badinar, Navlaki, Okha, Jakhon, Koteshwar, and Tuna Port. Kandla and Mundra are the major ports, and Sikka, even though not a major port, handle large quantities of cargo, crude oil, LPG, and chemicals. Due to the topography of Gulf of Kutch, new parts are also coming up. The channel in Gulf of Kutch is very narrow to accommodate the vessels coming inside Gulf of Kutch. More than 60% of nation's crude is transported through this channel. If any mishaps happen in the mouth of Gulf of Kutch, the entire operation will be affected. Therefore, it was necessary for traffic management system in this area. Extending our responsibility towards safe navigation along Indian waters and to address the long-pending issue of coastal security in terms of monitoring vessels entering the porous Gulf of Kutch, Directorate General of Lighthouses and Lightships established Vessel Traffic Service in Gulf of Kutch. The world's first harbour surveillance radar was inaugurated in Liverpool, England in July 1948 and in March 1950, a radar surveillance system was established at Long Beach, California, the first such system in the United States. Later, these have been evolved as VTS systems. In Gulf of Kutch, the Vessel Traffic Service plays an important role in guiding. With completion of the scheme, an orderly traffic in the entire Gulf of Kutch is ensured, which has mitigated the risk to human lives at sea, severity of accidents and environmental pollution in congested waterways of the Gulf of Kutch. The VTS system has been built by Directorate General of Lighthouses and Lightships at the cost of 165 crores with financial partnership of Kandla Port Trust and Gujarat Maritime Board.
It was inaugurated and dedicated to nation on 13th February 2012. VTS Gulf of Kutch is the largest VTS system in India and one of the largest VTS in the world in terms of coverage area, which is more than 16,000 square kilometers. The VTS system comprises of most modern equipments such as Axon S band radars, radio direction finders, automatic identification system, and meteorological sensors to enable efficient operation of VTS. The VTS Gulf of Kutch constitutes nine radar stations at Koteshwar, Jakhon, Chachi, Mandavi, Naminal, Kandla, Balachari, Chudeshwar, Okha, three repeater stations at Haruri, Vanku, and Bhadreshwar, six port monitoring stations at Namalaki port, Kandla port, Rosibanda port, Sikka port, Vadinar port, and Okha port. Also, Access has been provided to Indian Navy and Indian Coast Guard at Okha and Jakhon. The Master Control Center is located at Kanda. The Administrative Office is located at Gandhi Dham. All remote stations and MCC Kanda are connected together uninterruptedly through duplex microwave system. Data from each remote station reaches the server at MCC Kandla. AIS sensors are installed in Okha, Kandla, Naminal and Jakhon. This can accurately provide AIS information of all vessels sailing across the Gulf of Kutch. Meteorological sensors meant for collecting meteorological information about conditions over sea. The main services provided by the VTS Gulf of Kutch are Information Service, Traffic Organization Service and Navigational Assistance Service. Information Service This ensures that essential information such as weather conditions, meteorological information etc. become available in good time for onboard decision making. Traffic Organization Service This prevents the development of dangerous maritime traffic situations and to provide for safe and efficient movement of vessel traffic within the VTS area. Navigational Assistance Service This is a service to assist onboard navigational decision making and to monitor its effects. The VTS Gulf of Kutch is divided into four sectors. VTS operators perform operations in the respective sectors. Once a vessel enters in VTS area, it is guided through all sectors until it reaches its port limit. Then handed over to port signal stations for port operations. After that, the same is taken over by VTS then VTS will take command of the vessel maneuver until it leaves the VTS area. Vessels entering Gulf of Kutch may be destined to different major or minor ports along the Gulf of Kutch. They are required to send their pre-arrival and departure notifications to VTS through email. This is mandatory and published in Admiral List of Radio Signals, Volume 6 Oblique 4. The VTS provides information to the vessels in respective sectors through VHF and the vessels are to inform while entering as well as leaving each sector. The VTS provides seamless surveillance of the entire Gulf of Kutch up to 19 nautical miles for radar targets of radar cross section which is of 50 square meter and measured at 3 meters height. Radar and AIS integrated targets are received at each VTS consoles. Thereby, the operator can attain the accurate position, course, speed, draft, IMO number, call sign, MMSI code and other information of particular vessel. This assists the operator to perform his job of guiding the vessels.
for operating VTS round the clock. Experienced supervisors and operators are deployed under VTS Manager. Also, a well-trained technical team by DGLL is working 24 by 7 to extend technical support for the VTS. VTS thus makes its impact over Gulf of Kutch by Improvement in safety of traffic Improvement of efficiency of traffic Optimized traffic flow Providing information to the competent authorities about movements of ships carrying hazardous, dangerous and noxious cargo on board. In case of a pollution incident, early detection can be performed. Aids to coastal surveillance and security monitoring. Ever since its commission, the VTS Gulf of Kutch has been the silent contributor towards safe marine navigation in the Gulf of Kutch. The continuous monitoring in the area has been instrumental in making the Gulf of Kutch a safe and incident-free maritime zone. Many incidents have been averted due to the advanced information provided to the vessels. Number of lives have been saved due to the active participation and the invaluable assistance provided during search and rescue operations. The VTS has been the eyes and ears for the security agencies and has contributed towards the security of the nation. VTS Gulf of Kutch is serving the nation with assistance in safe navigation and providing enhanced coastal security.